Lockton, along with Sean Lockton, here to bring you baseball between Mariana and Shipley. Sean, how are we doing tonight? Oh, we're doing good, Royce. Pleasure being with you. Well, the last time we did this, we didn't get excited, but we won the game. What about this one? Talk a little bit about Chipley and Mariana. This is going to be a battle royale tonight, Royce. Uh, both teams are fighting for that spot in the in the uh, first seed of the district, and and uh, if we win, it's locked up. If they win, it's a tie. With, I think with us and them, it looks like it'll be a coin toss. See who that top seed we got, is. We got Troy Clemens uh, pitching again for Mariana. What do you think? He's been our ace all year. He's thrown every big game. And his first pitch is a strike. We don't know the batter. They didn't give me any lineups. We're going to see. They're supposed to be on the way now. You know how that is. First pitch for Troy Clemens, a strike. Second one's going to be a strike. Did he swing at that or the, down the middle? I don't know if they called a check swing or not. It was <laughs> certainly on the outside corner. He threw a change yeah. up and it. It just died at the end. Pop up. Now let's see. It looks like Bannerman going after it. And he got it. One out. Top of the first inning. Chipola. Chipola. Chipley versus Marietta. I've been around Chipola too long, Sean. They're playing over there right now. You probably was over there right before this game, wasn't you? Yeah, it is three to one. Marietta. I mean, Chipola losing. I don't know if that's good or not. We're going to see if we can't get the line up here shortly, and we'll be able to talk, tell you who's from Chipley. Obviously, we can get to Mariana, guys. All right. And that's a ball inside, as you can see. There's Mr. Van, the vice principal over at Chipley. I'll have to speak to him. Maybe we can get him to say a word or two during the game today. Ground to the shortstop. He gets it and throws it to first. And they got him. So we've got two outs. Two batters, two outs. Number 14 now. That's not your son. He's 14, but he plays for Mariana. This is Chipley. Chipley's ace pitcher right here. I uh, don't know his first name. Last name's Whitson. He's a, Whitson. He's a good one. He throws it 90, 93. Well, I heard he didn't. He, did we beat him last time we played him, but he wasn't as consistent as he could be. We made him throw a lot of pitches, got his pitch count up. I think he was he was on about a 75 pitch pitch count and got him out of there. And but we hit him pretty good too. We swung the call out the good. players, coach. You got Troy Clemens pitching and going around catcher. Who, who we got? Adam Begale at catcher and Jaron Bannerman at first. And Dustin Larkin at second. Laramie Dryden at short. And uh, Zach Smith. I think it's there at third. Yeah. And Dustin Miller in left. Colby Johnson in center. And I'm not sure who that is out there in right. Can't see that far, Royce. Uh, I, can't, I can't tell who that is either. We'll know when they get up to bat. Curveball from Clemens to number 14. A little outside. Good little crowd gathering here since it's a 6.30 game outside, so two balls. Pretty light crowd to start with. They look like they're fouling uh, in now. Yeah, all, all of them are coming. There comes Mark Skinner from Florida, and I guess he's looking for a good shot tonight. Here it is. Woo, high, and he struck it and missed it. We'll take it. Hello, Mark. Mark is our favorite photographer. He's running. <laughs> Next pitch from Clemens to number 14 for Chipley. Woo! Now, why does a guy chase it like that, it Sean? Looks too good, Roy. That <laughs> thing looks big as a beach ball coming in. and Just looks too good. Can't lay off of it. I <laughs> heard that. All right, here she goes. Count two and two with two outs. He's got to throw him out. Uh-oh. Dribbling down to first, ain't gonna get him. How do you put that in the scores book? It goes as a strikeout and an error. So it. That ball was way inside, wasn't it, Sean? It sure, it sure looked like it. Oh, he threw a fastball on his hands. That's Troy's. Say that runner. again. Uh, I have no clue. I'll tell you before we leave, though. I haven't thought that far in the future. Somebody asking when this is going to be on TV. It's on TV right now. 
<laughs> you gotta think about that. That's right. <laughs> All right, so with three outs, but he error on the catcher, he goes to first base on a strikeout in the era. Mr. Larkin said that counts. <laughs> so, uh, still two outs. I just like to see how you put that. You put a K, but you put a K E or something. Royce, I think they score at K E two, and then. Uh, Would you say that was? Obviously, it doesn't count as a doesn't count as an out. Was that a wild pitch or was that just a catcher missed it? I don't know. I don't think he got crossed up. Well, if he called it a strike, it'd have to be. <laughs> well, it looked like he looked like he swung about halfway, and his hands kind of blocked at him from where the ball was coming in. He checked the swing, and the ball was barely missed his hands, and he just lost the ball. Yeah. Coming in there. And it was a little bit more inside than he had lined up for it to be. Yeah. Really. Well, that was a pretty pitch. One ball, two strikes on number 24. We still don't have the uh, <laughs> the lineup from Chipley. We're working on that now. Here she comes. And a strike three. Clemens did really well. He had a good inning that inning. He threw his change up well, located everything good, and they did a little bit of free swinging to help us out there. All right, so the end of the top of the first, the score is zero to zero. Mariana coming up on the bottom of the first. We'll be right back. Right now. All right, here we are in the bottom of the first inning. Mariana's first time at bat against Chipley here in a cool nine in April. And it looks like Johnson up first. Kobe Johnson? It is Kobe Johnson leading off. He's leading the team in batting, I think. He's Carson. the only one batting over 300. Go ahead. Carsten Whitson on the mound is his name. He's, he's Boy can a great throw arm. <laughs> wow. He throws it good. The, when we played over in Chipley, he's a little bit more over the top, and his ball wasn't running like that. And I saw him warming up a little while ago and saw that ball running. It's, it's, uh, that's not a good sign for us tonight. If he throws like that all night, we're in trouble. Going to take getting used to, huh? It certainly is. I think Andy's been throwing BP from about 15 feet all the last three or four days and trying to speed <laughs> your bats up. Yeah. Is that the way you do it? You get a little closer and throw it hard? Well, we don't have the arms that we used to. We, <laughs> have, to, we have to use every advantage. Well, I never did understand why you get close and throw it, but I guess that's your reaction time shortened up. That's right. That's the third strike from Johnson. And let's see who we've got coming up next. We threw him a bucket full of fastballs there. Every one of them, two seamers tailing in. And, and uh, looks like he's locating it pretty good. Well, is this Dustin Miller? This is Dustin Miller. He's playing left field. His picture was in the paper this week. Maybe he'll come out here fired up. I'll take a double right here. <laughs> I'll take a home run. They are just definitely not used to that fast pitching, are they? Well, also, he's throwing it about three balls off the plate over here, and he's giving it to him. That's going to give us fits if he continues to give him that pitch. Outside. Now, that wasn't his fastball, was it? No, that looked like a slider there. Explain to us, guys that don't really know, what's the difference in a slider and a curve? Curveball breaks a little earlier and a little bit bigger and fast I mean the slider comes in comes in like a fastball and it only breaks three or four inches right there at the end yeah and he looks like he's got a good one he hadn't been able to locate it in the past if he gets that thing located he's gonna give us some fits he's gonna play college ball anywhere he wants to Throwing it over 90 miles an hour and throwing strikes. He's got a lot of interest. He's a he's a great kid. He's got a great body and obviously a great arm. But I think he's already committed to Florida. Has he? If the uh, if he doesn't go high enough in draft to go out of high school, but he's going he's definitely gonna have a shot. Well now, Miller got on first with a walk, so there's our chance for some runs. But they got a good catcher too, obviously. You gotta be pretty good just to be able to catch at 92, 93, don't you? This is Miguel, catcher for Mariana. 
very surprised that there's not scouts here with the radar guns. Well, I was fitting to say, I'll bet they are going to be here, unless they're already, already got him committed. Well, I think the Gators have him committed. Obviously, he's not signed. He's just a junior, but the scouts, they, they still One ball on Miguel. Excuse me, Sean. I didn't mean to step on you there. Trying to get him at first base, and whoever doing video and it's so slow, he didn't get his hands on the camera quick enough to see it, but he got back easily. Miller, they just don't want him to get off base, do they? They, they know he's going to run if there's a chance. Well, Dustin Miller's got some pretty good wheels, and being in a two-hole, he's probably doing some hit and run or bunt and run, things like that, trying to get him to second base. So that three-hole and four-hole can knock him in. Well, there's a wide open over here on the left side, the way he's holding him on. I think that's where he was trying to hit it, wasn't he? <laughs> he could see that hole there between first and second. Adam, Adam likes pulling that thing through that hole, but he also likes laying that thing over the shortstop's head out there and letting it fall in, too. Yep. Well, I don't care where he hits it as long as he hits it, Sean. They are working hard to keep Miller on. That's the third pitch, uh, third throw that the pitcher has thrown over toward first base to keep him back. Swinging it out, and he just missed it. My wife's got my jacket. <laughs> it's cold. Little wind's blowing. It's now, kind of chilly, isn't it? We're, we're, we're higher up this time than we were last time, aren't we? No, I, there's no problem. All right, two strikes and one ball. One out. Whoop! High. I don't think Miguel enjoyed that one either. Look at him. <laughs> no, he didn't want any part of that one. I don't blame him. I, I've been laying all over the ground getting away from that one. Well, when you were coaching, did you ever say, let's brush him back a little bit, this big big guy we got? Oh, yeah. Did it work? You do everything you can do to get him off that plate. That's, what, <laughs> that's the pitcher's plate. Yep. And the hitter says that's his plate. So that is a, true. A battle over that battle over that plate there, Royce. That was an awesome slide right there. What did he do? I, I was filming it, but I wasn't really looking. Uh, the, the catcher threw the ball on third base side of the bag, and the shortstop slid down, and Dustin Miller read it early enough, and he slid to the outside of the bag and came around and touched it on the back side. He yep. kind of snuck in the back door. We'll take it. Oh, yeah, he made a good read on a ball in the dirt, and that catcher's going to have a hard Three time. Three and two. Miller on second. Foul ball back up with, by Miguel. Is Miguel a senior? Miguel is a senior. And we got senior night coming up shortly, whatever that is. I think they're going to uh, try to have some special little ceremony on involving that. As many of these ball games as we've been to, we need a little something special. Uh-oh. He realized that one was going to be a strike. All right, now who do we got here? Like Laramie Dryden. Uh, he has been on fire for the last week or 10 days. Was he three for four the last game you and I worked? Somewhere along in there. I know the first two times up he got about two hits. He got two or three hits down in Bozeman on Friday night. I'm uh, not sure what he did on uh, on Saturday, but he's been swinging at it good, real good. Matter of fact, I, he may have hit two triples down there. Well, he doesn't mind putting the bat on the ball. How tall is he? Oh, he's about 5'7". Uh, he and Cameron and Scott and I went to see the Atlanta Braves, that game that was 17 innings. 17 innings. We started at noon, and about 10.30 that night, it was over. It did rain, and we didn't get to... Ooh, did that curve in there? That was a nice breaking ball there. Yep. That was a good choice for him to call a curve on that pitch, too. It was. He was bunting. Because if it had been a fastball, he'd have been, been bunting. But what is he doing bunting with two out? I'm not real sure if he was taking and just showing that. Or, yeah. Or if uh, or if he was going to try to try to drag it.
Whoa, he's humming that thing. He's throwing it. He's leaving that thing up, too. I hope Andy told him, not. don't even swing at anything above waist high. Well, you know. I don't know if we can get to it. <laughs> well, he's thrown about the four, four, four or five pitches now that all have been high. Hey, Larry, may call timeout, try to get him out of that rhythm he was in. Yep. He caught it at first base. So that's three outs on Mariana with a one man on. So after one complete inning of play, score now 0-0. Zero, zero. Mariana Chipley. We'll be right back. All right, Mr. Larkin, we're back. This is the top of the second. Who we got batting? This is JoJo Taylor. He lives here in Mariana. He does. Chipley played over here to about, I guess, ninth grade, 10th grade. Mama teaches over there. She got one of those good Washington County jobs. Uh-oh, he, he hit the umpire. Look at him. Oh, he's saying. Yeah, that did look at very good, did it, Roy? I don't think so, but I'm enjoying that. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? Play ball! Just trying to help him. Chosen, chosen profession. <laughs> Jackie, what's wrong with you? My wife here punching me in the back. It's fun. I mean, that's the only people you can holler at. You can't holler at youngins. Because that's a no-no. <laughs> Score 0-0. Zero, zero. First batter in the top of the second. Here it is. Two balls. Oh, it was a ball and a strike. That first one he swung at it, I guess. One and one. Clemens throwing his curve. Is that going to fall in? Sure did. Uh-oh. Well, he held up at first. I thought he was going to go for second, but he didn't. He threw that breaking ball, and it, JoJo just laid his bat out there. And it right, over the, right over, right over the third base. baseman's head, yep. Hey, I'm sure his mama's proud of him. I see her over yonder. So one man on for Chipley here in the top of the second. Justin, what's his name, Burnham? Justin, what's his name for Chipley, number nine? Justin Burnham. Burnham. I thought it was a Burnham. He looks like a Burnham. He's a senior catcher. Uh-oh. They are going to bunt it. Got him at second. He didn't say he pulled his leg off now, did he? No, uh, that was a nice play by Cameron. He bunted that ball hard, and Cameron was right on top of it. Made well, that was my grandson. Well, let me go back with that. I, he sure is, number 23. Well, you know, people don't understand when you operate this camera, they think you see everything. Sometimes it's even what's on camera you don't see. Uh, camera uh, operator like me, you gotta do it all a little bit. So there's one out. Still got a man on first, fielder's choice on that last play. Who we got up Justin, next? Justin Chambers. Chambers. Uh-oh, uh they... I've, we had said before the game that Zach Smith was over there at third, but Camo is out there. I, I got that mis mixed up. I don't, was it... Was Zach might have been there. I don't know. It don't matter now. One out. A little high from Troy. One ball. Essentially, I thought there was two pitches, but one of them was a throw to first. <laughs> that one don't count. Troy does do a good job of throwing it. When he's on, I mean, he, it ain't as fast as that other kid from Chipley, but he's putting the ball down the middle. Troy does a good job of throwing in and out against right-handers. He throws it out a lot against left-handers, but he will bust them in sometimes, but he can really move it both sides of the plate against right-handers. The touchdown that he made in football, it, 
Yo, son. I think we made about 14 too many fakes. That's a coach's nightmare when the rundown guy starts throwing and faking that ball like that. Yeah. The first baseman is <laughs> jumping at it. But, but yeah, I got him stopped long enough that he could use some of that blazing speed and run him down, didn't he, Roy? <laughs> when when, when uh, Troy Clemens, who's pitching for uh, Mariana, when he scored that touchdown pass, was that your son throw it to him or was it a trick play or something? Kind? No, I think Dustin threw it to him down there. Oh, God. What a throw. Like a little throw. corner route <laughs> down there and had him wide open. Yeah, and, and then uh, his mother missed it because she'd gone to the restroom because <laughs> Troy doesn't normally catch passes. <laughs> I couldn't remember if Dustin threw it or not. Strike, uh, uh, count now is two and two on number 15, Justin Chambers. Two and two. We've done a good job of getting them off the base with a yeah. lead off hit and pick the guy off at second. I mean, at first. Troy and strikes him out. Sure did. Good strikeouts there. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you go give me that jacket. My wife said she might have to go to the car. I want that jacket if you go to the car. End of the uh, the top half of the second inning. Uh, no, man, nobody left on because we picked them off when they got on there and got them in the rundown. So after one and a half innings of play, score now 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll be right back. Well, here we are back on the bottom half of the second inning. Looks like... Uh, Zach Smith batting, I think. He's number 22. Let's see what we got here. He might be playing designator hitter, and there's the first pitch. Man, that boy does burn it in here for Chipley. Throwing it in here strong. They say he can throw it over 90 miles an hour. That looked like about 85, somewhere along in there. So here comes the uh, second pitch. Outside, so it's going to be one and one on Zach. Zach's been hitting the ball well. He's pitched a little on the JV team and playing uh, third base and first base and here's the third pitch. High. He's burning that one in there. So the count now. Two balls, one strike on Zach Smith. Dad sitting down there cheering for him. Get him on the camera here in a minute. Swings at the next one. That makes it two and two. Here's the pitch. Hits it fouled off the right, down the right field way. There's some of the folks from Chipley here. Got a good crowd for Chipley. Good crowd for Chipley. Got a good crowd for Mariana too. Count now two and two on Zach Smith after that foul down the right field line. Woo! They know it's going to be a strike, but it's so quick they can't get the bat around. Well, he's throwing it good, isn't he? All right, who we got? Yeah, he is throwing it well. So that's one out on Mariana, bottom of the second. Let's see who we got here. Number Troy eight. Clemens. Troy, I still think, was the most improved football player. Or maybe, I don't know what the right word is. That just all of a sudden he was an influence in the game where last year he wasn't quite that much. Whoo, good curve. Troy is a football player. I mean, he is a natural football player. Do you think that's his next stop as a football small college somewhere? I think he wants to play baseball in college, but he does. He always had a nose for the ball. Tried to bunt, fouled it back. Therefore, count is two strikes, no balls. Troy is deceptively big. He's about 215 pounds and. He runs pretty good, too. Yeah. Hello. We got it to the fence. He's going to get a stand-up double. Troy Clemens there. Good for a double in between right and center. Probably improved his batting average, I'll grant you. That was a good smack. That wasn't a, that was just a good shot. Oh, he threw him a high fastball out over the plate, and he just dropped the bat head on it. Got good quick hands and gave it a ride out there. Who is this next young'un? 
He looks really familiar. It's like Dustin Larkin. Huh? Sure well, is. I'm not sure if Andy will have him bunting here. Or uh, hit he'll it over. Be, he'll definitely be trying to hit it on the back side. Yep. There. Buddy, you got to get the bat around, don't you? That son of a gun, he's coming. That's the fast pitcher we've seen all year, isn't it? Oh, he's by far throws it the hardest. He, he'll hit probably 92, 93 tonight. Wow. It's just not much time <laughs> to make a decision like that one. I'm having a feeling Andy says uh, don't strike till you get a strike. Yeah, he's doing everything they can do to make him throw a lot of pitches. I, he's, I think he stays on pitch count and want to get him out of there as quick as he can. But he's filling up the plate tonight. He's, he's not going to have a real high pitch count tonight. <laughs> Your son's been around it so long, he backed out there to make him mess up on getting his set. We need to drop the drop the barrel on another one there and try to get this run across. Well, now, their second baseman looks real young. Looks young. That's a great read. He read another ball in the dirt. That catcher will have an awfully hard time blocking that ball as hard as he throws. Well, I was going to say, as hard as he's throwing it, it is hard, isn't it? Yeah, I think anything they, anything they read going You want to know what you look like when you were in high school? Look at this on the monitor right here. Sean, look right here. <laughs> is that what you were? I don't know if my did parents you know? had, had any hair that long around their house. They did. Your dad said nay, huh? That looked outside, but it don't matter what it looked like, does it? Well, he's giving him that pitch. It's about three balls. That one is about four balls outside. And uh, he doesn't need a whole lot of help to. <laughs> That's right. As hard as he's throwing it, but he's he's sure uh, he's sure giving him that pitch. We'll take the run, Sean. Absolutely. Again. Absolutely. Well, let me ask you this now. When the ball goes back behind the catcher, is the distance from the home plate to the backstop the same in every in every in every stadium? I would venture to say that it's not the same well, in what any is the any rule? stadium. Is, is there, there a rule? I don't think there's any rule specifically. I don't I imagine it wouldn't be a mile back there, but it is but equal I, for both teams. Absolutely. But they're all different. Everywhere is different. All right, who we got right. up? Still Dustin Larkin up, 2-2 two, two count. Uh, like a 3-2 count. Glad he, he threw that one high. I'm sure he's glad he threw that That's what I'm saying. No, I mean, you know, they got to get in the groove with a pitcher that throws that fast. Well, we just can't do a whole lot of swinging at balls above our waist. I'm just not real sure we can catch up with it as hard as he's throwing. He's, and that ball's moving two or three inches, too. And, uh... <laughs> it's awfully hard putting a bat on that thing. All right, here we go. Who's at bat, Sean? Jaron Bannerman. Mr. Lefty himself. Cameron is next, so Cameron must be batting ninth tonight. Whoa, what a curve. But it was high. He hadn't thrown that pitch but about three times. Uh, first time I've seen him throw it to a left-hander. There's no outs, Sean. Or oh, the scoreboard is wrong one. Well, we've been fooled by the scoreboard <laughs> before. <laughs> one night we said it's 0-1. <laughs> the next pitch he went to first. We said, now how did he get that? Did the umpire just send him? <laughs> well, a minute ago I said it was 2-2 on Dustin. And he throws a ball and he goes down to first base. So, uh I don't think we can count on the scoreboard to keep us straight. <laughs> I agree with that. But I don't have a clicker. I'm not holding one of those tonight either. All right, we got Larkin on first, no outs according to the scoreboard, and Bannerman at bat. Well, they got one out up there now, Roy. They didn't fool you again. They moved it to what? Uh, he's. I thought he was going, didn't you? From first to second, I thought he was gone. You know, he's got that blazing They're speed. laying in the car. Yep. Well, I don't know, somewhere there, probably in between. The he's not giving them well, that. Pull right up here and watch Cameron, Matt. Pull right there and watch. 
Oh, pick up. Well, no, hang on. Woo! They ain't got time to get it around. Well, Jack, Jackie, I don't want to take this. My wife's trying to give me a jacket here. When Bannerman's swinging and whiffing and making it so cold there. <laughs> count two and two tries to throw him out at first mr. Larkin is not going to have any part of that <laughs> what's the rule on this timeout when you're in the batter's box well the umpire doesn't have to give it to him he can he can not give it to him he can make him stay in there if if it's early enough they generally do but okay. They're just doing everything they can do to get him shook up. Yep. Well, your son's going to have to wash his uniform because, buddy, he's do dived back into first base. Three times. Ooh. Now, a while ago, that was a strike. That's been a strike all night against <laughs> right hand handers, but he's... We'll take it. Yes, absolutely we will. He's calling a little bit different with a left-hander up there. All right, three and two on Bannerman, no out, one out. <laughs> oh, well, that was a good cut at it, though, now. That was the best cut today. It was. He probably was going to call it a strike. It was a little up in the zone. He had to kind of swing up at well, it. Well, here comes Mr. Fast Bat, so let's see what we get out of Cameron. Hey, he got a, he knocked in two runs the other night. I forgot which game that one was. We lost it, but he knocked in two runs. They are going after him at first uh, and the first baseman almost missed that one or he did drop it that would not have been interesting he had been standing on second yeah i don't know if uh andy compton the coach at chipley is telling him to pick off over there he's he's watched dustin play ball since he's about six years old so yep i'm pretty sure he knows that he's not gonna <laughs> run <laughs> He must be telling them to take the first to get a strike because they ain't nobody swung at the first pitch all day. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he is. Am I making excuses for my grandson here? No, we, we generally will be taking, trying to get a lot, trying to get a, his pitch count up there. They'll just keep going over there to first. I don't know. Look how dirty your son's. Now that he could he could fake a throw back to the pitcher, and I'm not sure. He'd get him on that one, wouldn't he? One strike on Cameron right down the middle of fastball. Here's the second pitch. Oh, that hurt me. I'm still. It hurt my me breath. too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I, see what he says. Let's he, get in there close and see. He's not liking that at all. No, he's smiling though. <laughs> Look at it. Like it, like it don't matter. That had to hurt. He got hit the last game. He didn't get hit with 92 though. Did no, he, he didn't. <laughs> I imagine tomorrow we'll talk about that one. <laughs> I imagine you'll see the bruise tonight. I'm glad it wasn't up higher. Oh, I was holding my breath when I saw it run inside on him. That ball took off. Yeah. Larkin on second. Two outs. Oliver on first. And we're starting over with the batting. Well, he started Colby off with a curveball, and I don't know if we had to take sign on. He swung at the first pitch. That thing looked good to yeah. him. And a little low. Now, that pitch he's been giving to him all night. He's, yeah. He's all of a sudden, he stopped, and we appreciate that, Mr. Blue. <laughs> Here comes somebody carrying a gun now. I don't know about that. A badge and a gun. Yeah, oh, he got a badge. We can, we can stand it if there's a badge and a gun in. Yeah. He is now standing on, uh-oh, going to second. Got him at second, hobby dog. And my videographer here missed it. He threw, he uh, the closest got away base. from him and he threw behind, threw behind the runner and got Camo going to second. All right, after uh, two complete innings of play, Mariana did score. So the score now is one to nothing, Mariana, after two innings. Sean Larkin and Ross Reagan. We'll be right back starting of the third inning. 
Here we are starting the top of the third inning. Chipley will be batting since they are the visitors, and Mariana's ahead one to nothing with a run by uh, Miller, who scored all the way from a walk all the way around on bad passes or whatever. Who we got? It's like Philip Brenninger, senior infielder for Chipley. What is that stance he's got there? Oh, he's wide open trying to dive back into it. A lot of them started doing that a few years ago, seeing some of those pros open up and dive back in there. And then the pitcher started throwing them on their hands. Yeah. Kind of, uh -oh. kind of negating what they were doing. I thought he was going to call that one a strike, but he did not. I'm not so sure that he didn't check him. All right, here we go then. Troy Clemens still on the mound. Throwing well tonight. <laughs> High, but he swung at it and missed it. That old ball looks like it's just going to fall in there. Perfect pitch, and it just stays up. Makes it hard to hit. There it is. Strike two. Two and two. No outs. Top of the third here at Marina High School Baseball Complex out near the stadium on Caverns Road. One to nothing. What a pitch. Now, your son's going to call for this one. Catch it, buddy. He almost didn't, but he caught it. Don't matter, does it? That's in ball. Start riding in that wind a little bit. I know there. it. Dustin Larkin on the catch, so that makes it one out. And this looks like the little second baseman. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Colby Hartzog. Colby Hartzog. If I'm not mistaken. I think Colby went to school here when he was a little boy. Sounds familiar. Colby Hartzog, number five. Well, he's getting both corners now. Yeah, he, he likes to throw that outside corner against a left-hander. Well, now both pitchers are doing well. Our batting on both teams is ridiculous. They know it's a strike, but they wait too late to decide to swing, and the ball's past them, and then they look stupid like me and you sometimes, Sean, yeah, when they, we're swinging. Both to, teams. They try to stay back as long as they can to recognize the pitch. And sometimes that ball just gets on deceptively <laughs> fast and gets by them. Both pitchers doing extremely well. Pitcher for Chipley, though, I think that's the fastest high school pitcher I've seen in a while now. I haven't seen many, but... Come on. Mariana's got a good crowd. Look right there, Sean. Got a little crowd there. Yeah, you got them on the monitor up here. Williams, so I know. It. Let's see who we got here. Gerald Chatwood and his crowd. So we do have a good little crowd here. Mr. Miller and Miss Miller. Yeah. Mr. Miller just had surgery here not too long ago. We're glad to get him back to the ball field. I heard that. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Guess what? Miguel thought that was three outs. He took off running. I'm glad nobody was on the base. <laughs> uh, Adam got happy. I was happy with him. I was wanting him to go on yes, and get three. Look at the umpire saying, nope, just two. I'm freezing to death in these girls half-dressed coming out here in shorts and tank tops and act like it's not cold. Here we go again. Foul ball. I was going to say, Cameron, you're not going to get over there, buddy. Uh, oh, they got their boyfriend's jackets. That's where they got all oh, Justin Brannerman, the one who <laughs> was a bat a while ago. Right. Must be his girlfriend. Next time he's up, we'll put the camera on her. Sco one strike. Two strikes. Nope. He's gonna call that one low and in the dirt. Threw that change up. He just wouldn't. Wouldn't, wouldn't go after it. it. Now this is the second baseman, huh? Number three. Is that Colby Obert. He's yeah. Tenth grade yes, sir. Wow. Putting the bat on the ball. And I don't have on my blue jeans and that, John. I got on these little flimsy cheapo dockers here. Yeah, we on Eleven dollars right from so. Target, you know. <laughs> you were making fun of me that last game about them roasted peanuts. I'm going to tell you about something about that in just a minute after this next pitch. 
Counts, one ball, two strikes. Curve outside, three and one. If you want to roast peanuts, I've done it several times now, preheat your oven to 450. Put the peanuts in there and turn the stove off and go to sleep. Next morning you'll have some roasted peanuts, perfect. Oh, I'm glad he cut it, that one, that was inside. That was a great pitch, he threw that ball right on his hand. Yes, sir. Troy's getting congratulated by his team there. Score one to nothing after the top of the third inning. So Mariana's leading. So we'll be right back in just a minute to the bottom of the third here at the baseball complex, Mariana High School. Score one zero, Mariana. All right, Royce, looks like we got bottom of the third here. Kobe Johnson up, our lead off hitter. He was, he well, was, he, was up, he was up last inning, but we picked somebody off, right? He was at plate last inning when the catcher threw behind and got Cameron trying to sneak to second base. Well, now, uh, do we start over with a count, right? We do. New count. Obviously. They're still having trouble getting used to that fastball down the gut, don't they? Well, they've been taking that first pitch and letting him trying, trying to let that pitch count and get on up there. One and one now. M.R. Stokes going yonder. I guess after his grandson batted, he's going to go back to his car where it's not so cool. Maybe not. His grandson, uh, is Jackie Stokes, is a uh, youngin. JoJo Taylor plays shortstop. Yep. He signed a baseball scholarship with Indian River this year. Hello. I think you're right. Sometimes he throws that thing in the dirt. He gets up there trying to juice up on it and overthrow it and grips it a little too tight, and he threw that one about 45 feet. Kobe Johnson at bat. Here we go. I don't think he realizes that he was throwing that thing about 89 smooth a little while ago when that ball was running about two or three inches, and it was giving us fits. He stays in the groove, don't he? Watch how quickly the pitcher goes, turns around, throws the ball. He ain't going to stand around much long. We're going to have to mess that up a little bit. Take your time getting back in the batter's box. Foul ball way to the right, down to the gate, and it jumps and on against the fence, coming back. Wonder how much baseballs cost nowadays. I bet they're a lot more expensive than they used to be. <laughs> I don't know how much they are. I bet they're three or four dollars a piece. Hello, man! I wish that had been fair. It was. It was foul down the left field line. That would have been a shot. He's leading the team in batting. I'm not sure he's over 300, but I'm, it was 323 a while back. But he was the only one over 300. So he hit the ball good in Bozeman the other night. He hit an opposite field home run down wow. there the other night. That was. He put a good swing on it. Hit it a long way. Good. You have got to put the bat on the ball. Like that, but not a pop-up. Hope it ain't coming at us, is it? Three and two, full count on Johnson. First batter here in the bottom of the third for Mariana. Mariana leading 1-0. Oh, it hit him? What was that? What was that? Gosh, he, Kobe what? thought he had walked, and, and umpire has called him out on a check swing. He wasn't even close to swinging at that ball. Wasn't even close. Oh, well, I kept wondering, did it hit him? That Stop. ball was two foot outside. It hit in the front of the left-handed batter's box. And he called him out on a swing. That wow. Was, that was a... Uh, he didn't swing. That was a poor call. Yep. All right, here's Miller up again. He's the one that scored the one run that Mariana has against Chipley. Hey, I think the boy's losing it a little bit. One ball. That one was in the dirt also. I think. I thought it was uh, Miller that scored. Was it Troy or Miller? I can't Don't matter. We got one. We'll yeah. figure it out here in a minute. 
we don't use a scorebook here. We're not that complicated. Swing and a miss on the inside. I don't know if that'd have been a strike or not. Straight pitch though. That ball was coming down the inside part of the plate. I think it was Miller. A little bit. Miller walked to first, stole second and third, and then the first time somebody hit one, he no, it was a bad, bad throw at home. Remember? Pass ball. Pass ball, yeah. Pass ball and Troy scored. Royce. Oh, it was. Well, hello. Are we getting that old show? I am for sure. I don't know about <laughs> you. You seem like you got all the energy. I think energy. I think you're uh, you're staying the same. We're just getting older. Hello, he's on. Unless something bad happens. No, he got him. He was out. I th I thought he might be on. That was a really athletic play by the pitcher. He's a big, sure kid, was. strong arm. He slid in there and picked it up, popped up, and just casually used that arm to get it on over there. I imagine against anybody else. Uh, this Miller speed gets on. Miller's pretty quick. It went too far, I guess. Here's Miguel, catcher for Mariana, with the one out, bottom of the third. Well, we go from we go from possibly having two people on to having two people out. Hey, pitcher ain't it? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be stepping on you. Pitcher is just keep throwing them in the dirt. He was high a while ago, now he's throwing them in the dirt. Are we wishful thinking here that he's not going to be on? Score still one to nothing, but that's a close ball game because he can throw a fast ball. Yep. Location is historically what we've seen. We hadn't seen him throw but a year, but he's he's been effectively wild at times. He's got a great arm. When he gets that thing across the plate, he's just unhittable. But he'll he'll get wild. Catcher, on go, him. catcher going out and talking to the pitcher again. I don't know what's happening there, as if it matters. He's yep. just trying to calm him down Good. a little bit. Don't let him Three balls on Miguel. Wow. And that was a take, obviously. Three and one. Whoa! Inside. He threw those two pitches hard right there. I know it. Hard as he could throw it. Uh oh. Since the Miguel's a catcher. Got a runner. Looks like Clay Rooks is Clay right Rooks, there. freshman catcher. And he can fly. He's a good runner, so maybe we can move somebody over. Dryden, oh, Dryden at bat now. They must think we run. Maybe the last time we played them, did we run a lot or something? They're throwing back to first a bunch. Well, he's just got a quick move and a strong arm, and that's a pretty easy way to get runners off that off that base over there. They're definitely taking the first pitch every time. And I guess there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm going to try to wear out the pitcher a little bit. First baseman held on to it a little long then, seeing if he'd jump right back off that bag. I was just about to say that a while ago. If he would fake his throw to the pitcher, they go jump off the bag. One strike on Dryden. Pop up. And that looks like that's three outs on Mariana here in the bottom of the third. So at the end of the bottom of the third, it's still 1-0 Mariana leading Chipley. We'll be right back. All right, Royce, we look like we're in the, the top of the fourth here. With their number nine hitter. Or is this their leadoff? I know one thing, he was cutting the last time up. I remember that. He is small. Now, this may be their number two guy. Let's see Whitson on deck over there, number 14. Well, let's just look on the sheet and see what his name is. We might can put the camera on his girlfriend down here. 
This looks like Blake Obert at the plate. Yeah. They don't have a lineup. We don't know where they're at in the lineup, but it is Blake Obert. Well, he was batting that a while ago, it seemed like to me, second base. He's a senior infielder. They, they look like they've got about 10 or 12 seniors. Wow. We do play seven innings, right? We play seven <laughs> innings in high school. <laughs> yes, we do. Well, when you got softball, little girl softball, big girl softball. Hello, base hit into left field. Uh, and high school baseball and college baseball all around you all the time. It does get confusing at times. So Chipley now has someone on first with no outs, top of the fourth inning. We, we understood this one was going to be close, so I guess they're proving it was right. It's going to be a close ball game. Yeah, he stayed back on a changeup, just pulled it right over to left fielder. One hop to left fielder there. There's our three-hole hitter, Karsten Whitson. He's also the pitcher. Probably in a Normally, you'd say this would be a bunt situation. One strike, one ball now. Look, their number three hole hitter up. Might try hit and run, something like that. Well, he's a good sized kid. Not that that matters, does it? Chipley with one on first. Count one and one at the bat. Man, they swinging good. Troy's throwing the ball well, though. It ain't anywhere near in the league with the pitcher for Chipley, but throwing a lot of strikes. Oh, he's mixing it up good. Keeping them off balance. Good steady flow of change-ups and fast balls on the outer parts of the plate. This would be a big out right here. Yep. Yeah, get him at first. Got him at first, and me not putting the camera on him for a while. But they still move someone over to over to second base. So now Chipley's got a runner on second. And uh, good play. Troy didn't have many choices, did he? That was about his only choice. That was the only play he had. They did a good job. They got two strikes on him, and then bunting him over to bunting him over to second base with runner in scoring position with one out. And Jake Jadowski. At the plate. I don't think that's a Chipley name that we hear very often. <laughs> no. Hello. Against the screen. Over at second with one strike on the batter. Score 1 0, Mariana. Here we are in the top of the fourth. We just one out. Good curve, that's <laughs> Roy Clemens. That was a neat pitch, neat pitch. He looked like he was taken there because he didn't even, he didn't even try to stay he in sure that pitch. Here we go again. Two strikes. Throw it. Oh, here I am, and there he got the camera on him. <laughs> Sean, I'm sorry. I was enjoying the game so much. Trust me, they were a little rundown. I just can't believe that. <laughs> I was involved in it, too. They did a good job. You weren't job. even looking at the monitor. I'm sorry, go ahead. Troy, was, Troy had a little inside move there to try to pick him off, keep him a little closer at second, and he took off on it. It was a perfect time for it. I don't think that Coach Compton wanted that at the time for sure. Well, I, I should have zoomed back and take my hands off the camera if I'm not going to stay with it. I was enjoying watching the run now. And that's it. Ooh, we dodged a bullet on that one. Sure I don't think did. Andy Compton's none too happy about that at all. So the top half of the fourth, what do we got, Sean? Still about the same. Uh, one hit. One hit. JoJo Taylor got the one hit. No. Uh, Still no runs, Mariana leading one to nothing. We'll be right back, don't you dare go away. All right, Chipley had a chance there on the top of the fourth to score and didn't do it. And we, you're right, Mariana sort of dodged a bullet. Here we are, bottom of the fourth. 
That's Zach Smith up at the plate. Zach Smith, isn't it? It is. Yeah, Coach Compton went over there and had a little talk with him. And Coach Compton went to Chipola. He was on that state championship Chipola team. Yep. I think in 83. And then his assistant coach, Johnny Booth, played for Coach Johnson at Chipola. Wow. One and one on Zach Smith. Well, when you stay around a while, everybody played for you at one time or other, you know it. Exactly Most right. of these guys have played for you too, Sean. What are you talking about? Here we go. Catcher's working hard now. About one out of every four pitches he's having to get in the dirt and chase it or jump up and catch it high. So two and one on Zach Smith for Mariana. Top of the fourth. He'll I mean, bottom good of the fourth. tonight, won't he? Yep. Grounder to shortstop. He's getting it and throwing it to first, and he got him. So Zach Smith, good shot, good play with a shortstop. One out on Mariana. Zach hit that ball right on the barrel, and it hugged the ground out there. JoJo did a good job of staying down on it. Yep. Made a good play across the infield. Good throw. All right, here we are. This is Troy Clemens batting now for Mariana. One out, nobody on. Clemens at bat. Sure. Pitcher's still throwing it well, but about one out of four, he's having to work control. Whoa. Troy hit a double left center gap a little while ago. He helped himself out a lot. Yep. Scored a run. He can uh, look like he tried to drag it down third base there. So you think Troy likes uh, baseball better than football? Oh, there's no doubt he loves baseball. Uh, he wanted to hit that one. First inning, that would have been a strike. So I guess they were, <laughs> we're getting in the groove a little. Two balls on Troy Clemens. Woo, he wanted that one. Two and one. He remembers that other one he hit, I think. Yeah, he, he would have had to pull that one, though. <laughs> Foul ball right back over our heads. And luckily, my car's gone home. My grandson's windshield is busted. Is it? That means he got hit at practice one day? <laughs> I don't know. Or is there a story I don't know yet? I hadn't heard it if it was. <laughs> Here it comes. The old catcher just keeps hustling, don't he? Yeah, that ball bounced and hit Troy in the leg for a hit by the pitch. So here we are with Troy Clemens on first. And guess who is at bat now? Andy's looking at his card down there to know exactly what he wants to put on here. But they're they're making sure they got the signal, so I have a feeling he's going to be hit and run or, or a bunt. Usually when a coach takes that much time, there's something funny going on, or he does it on purpose to confuse the other team so he can hit it through them. I hope it works. Yep. Whoop, back over our heads again. They kind of broke away from that first pitch take this inning and and uh, put well, on a hit and run. Could there that have been out. a hit and run? Must yep, have been. Definitely a hit and run. How do you know that? Because the guy on first took off. Okay. The guy on first took off. And that ball was kind of <laughs> high. It hoped that he wouldn't swing at that on with a zero zero count with it being that high. One strike on Larkin. Let's see what they've got on here now. They're gonna try to throw the first and get the man to move back to the bag. I think. Nope. One and one Larkin. That was coming in there. His speed has slowed down just a little. I think he's trying to throw more strikes. I think he's trying to take a little bit off of it. And coach, coach probably told him to so he could throw more strikes. Well, he got to overthrow in that inning, but he's he's kind of back loose again, and yeah, he's back around the plate. Woo! There was your pitch, Dustin. He knows it too, Lego. That ball was up around the shoulders again. It's going to be hard to hit this guy. Swinging that ball's up around your shoulders. One ball, two strikes. Safe. Safe. Good move there, Troy. I didn't see the pitch, but he called him out on strikes. He did? It looked like. Did he swing uh, at it? I thought he swung at it. Did he swing at it? Uh, oh, I think so. I was looking at the runner. Well, when the runner was running, he had to swing anyway, right? Well, he didn't have to. I thought, I didn't know if he took it or, or swung at it, Royce. I was watching the runner there. I know the pitch was well outside. Yeah. 
Bannerman, first baseman from Mariana at bat now. We've got two outs, a man on second. Well, when you see your man running, and it looks like it could be a strike, you're going to have to put the bat on it. One, one strike on Bannerman, two outs, bottom of the fourth. Whoa, that one seemed to come back in, didn't it? Yeah, he got in a hurry, tried to juice that one up a little bit, didn't he? Yeah. Looked like a good pitch to me. But I'm not the umpire. And I'm a, he's a lot more closer to it than I am. Well, who called the timeout then? Jaron called it. Oh, he said it out loud before stepping out, huh? If he, if he don't say anything. You have to ask permission. You can't just step out. Oh. Mm. Boy, it was lucky he got turned around on that one because he was striding and that ball was coming right at his face. Wow. He's grinning too. Well, now we know who's up. The man that got hit a while ago. Let's see if he'll brush him off, see if he'll move him back. I'm telling you, somebody throwing a 90, pro, 90 mile per hour pitch at you. Whew. Got to be brave anyway, don't you? Oh, Cameron's done got all over the plate now. He's wanting him to throw another one inside. He ain't moving back. You better not go back to that dugout getting out of the way of it. Those boys will give you fits. <laughs> You better stay in there and let it hit you. Strike one, call on camera. It'd be better for that ball to hit you than go back in that <laughs> dugout after getting out of the way of it. You're right. Man on first and second, Cameron up. Hit you one, buddy. Ball outside. Now, he's throwing a fastball that time, Sean. That one baby was burning in there. Uh, he's got a good arm, doesn't he, Roy? Yep. No doubt why he's the buzz around North Florida. That arm is. There we go. He's sending him home, and here comes the throw. Well, whose grandson was that to hit that ball? All right, Camerani. Cameron came through with us. He got us a fast ball down the middle, and he wasn't hesitating. He turned on it and yanked it, yanked it in the left field. Good shot, good shot. Taught him everything he knows, Sean. I know you did. <laughs> We both know better than that, though. I would say it'd be true if he was playing a guitar or a keyboard. <laughs> well, or, he could play drums. Or flute or drums or <laughs> some of that stuff. But He's a good drummer. Swinging the bat, I'd say it had to be his mom. When he kid. was two years old, his daddy bought him one of them big old red plastic bats with a big old ball. He could hit it. <laughs> You'd throw it to him. Of course, it was a big bat and a big ball. But when your dad, like you, when you played college ball, it's like his dad played some, and you grow up around it, you're gonna learn a little bit about it. Well, he's been around it, and, and he plays golf, and I've, I've never seen a golfer that couldn't hit a baseball. It's just hand-eye <laughs> coordination. You're right. Similar swing. Whoa! Inside again. We were down playing at Sunny Hills, and Dale Hughes didn't really want to be there. After about three or four holes, he got it. I mean, he couldn't hit it. He couldn't make a drive in the fairway. So we rolled a par three. And he was in the woods on the par three. He overshot the grade. Hello, fellow. Russell Red should say, don't say hello. <laughs> Russell, what's wrong with it? Anyway, Dale said, I'm ready to go to the house. After this hole, I'm going to go back up and y'all play it. I'll sit up there and watch TV or something. Out of the woods, he shot one, and it stopped about an inch of the hole. He said, no, I think I'll play a couple more holes. One and one now. That one good golf shot keeps you yeah, coming it back. Yeah, just keeps you coming back. How much have you been playing lately? I have played almost none. Oh, really? I've played in, in some of the tournaments around that just fundraiser. Yeah, tournaments. when they want your money, that's right. Two and one now on Johnson, the well, leadoff yeah. batter. Cameron diving back to first. Oh, I might as well get him on the camera if he's going to. Oh, don't step off, son. You're right, see? Somebody told him, said, don't throw the ball back so quick. Two outs, though. The old rules, you never get off first base or any base until that pitcher toes that rubber. Yep. Woo, I thought he was going to put that in the right field, didn't you? That's Looked like it was going that way. I'll take a one hopper off the right center gap uh, wall out there right now. Two and two now. 
on Colby. Two outs, two, two, and two. Says hit it down the line now. Let's see what we get out of this. Here we go. Boomy, boomy, boomy. Oh, you can't watch it, boys. You can't watch it. You got, if it's close on the third strike, you have got to get it. That was a, that was a nasty pitch. He started that ball about six balls off the plate outside and it ran right back across the corner over there. He just gave up on it too early. After four complete innings of play, now it is two to nothing. Cameron Oliver knocking in a run. Uh, I'm not sure who scored, but we did have somebody left on base. So the score now 2-0. Mariana after four complete. Sean Larkin and Royce Reagan will be right back in just a moment. All right, back at Mariana Baseball Field. We Top of the fifth. Mariana leading Chipley 2 0. Troy Clemens score on base hit by Cameron Oliver. Looks like number 22, JoJo Taylor, at the plate. Troy Clemens still throwing for Mariana. She only seems to be doing well. What a slow curve. <laughs> Pretty good, though. Doing well, good. Oh, Troy just keeps doing what he does. He throws that breaking Can't ball, be. throws that change up, stays around the plate, does a good job. What's that guy's name? Plate throws for the Yankees, CC Sabathia, whatever his name is. What's his name? Whoa, like, what a curve. I'd like to have him right now. Uh-oh, Smith is underneath bothering you. <laughs> All right, count now, it's two strikes on Taylor, two counts on Taylor, a little high outside, so it's gonna be two. One ball, two strikes. Wind's picked up now. If I could show you a flag, I'd put you, put you, show you the wind blowing, but I don't even see a flag. Yeah, I do. Center field, I'll show you in just a second. One ball, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Let me show you that flag in center field. Look at that, Sean, look at that flag right here. It's whipping up there. Yeah, I, I guarantee that baby's I whipping. I can feel it running down the back <laughs> of my neck. So the count now is two and two. Curve, he's got him. Walk back, boys. Uh-oh, don't throw that bat like that. Oh, the other player needed it. That's why he threw it like that. That's the first time Troy's thrown in on a left-handed batter. He threw that fastball in on his hands, and it is very effective. Troy stands over there on the first base side of the rubber. It makes it kind of hard to hit that spot, but when you do, it's, it's almost impossible to hit it, especially when you're looking for something out over the plate. Troy's doing great. He's been throwing four and a half now. Right down the middle. A little low, but you cause it a strike, so I don't guess it really matters, does it? Oh. All those girls went and got them some jackets that was up there with skimpy clothes on a while ago. Now, that's a change up there, wasn't it? I don't know what that was. <laughs> not sure what that was either, but it looked awfully good. To, <laughs> you could say it. looked awfully good to that batter. Yes, sir. He bowed up and threw a strike then. He just wanted to throw a fastball. Man, boom, that was gone. Two up, two down here in the <laughs> top of the fifth. Number 15. I think that's a fine one, isn't it? <laughs> Burnham. Burnham. The girl that was wearing his jacket. No, that was Chambers' jacket. I was going to put her on camera, but she's already gone. Two out here Chambers. in the top of the fifth. Justin Chambers. Little low, here. little low, little low. And the wind is definitely blowing. I think in the channel one on this thing, I'm gonna have to turn it down some because the wind was Here we go. One and one, good cut. Oh, there's some wind Burnham. coming out across Andy's field. There, I guarantee you. It is coming. Woo! That's okay. <laughs> People running for cover now. There's another strike, buddy. That's Burn that pitch. one on the inside corner. Hoy's throwing effectively to both sides of the plate tonight, keeping them off balanced. One ball, two strikes, two outs. That's it. Oh, he knew he had to do something, so he swung at it. Nice change up there. Nice change up. It was, it was going to be called a strike. He had to try to fight it off.
One ball, two strikes, two outs. Top of the fifth. Boom, that's three. I'm telling you what, that's the best uh, right outing I think Clemens has had in a while, don't you agree? Boy, he's certainly been throwing it good. He threw it well against Chipley over there last time, but he's he's so effective tonight, throwing strikes from both sides of the plate, two pitches, three pitches sometimes. Uh, he's been He's been filling it up tonight. All right. We'll come into the bottom of the fifth now. After the top of the fifth, no runs, no hits, no errors on uh, uh, for Marion against Chipley. Three up and three down. So we'll be right back for the bottom of the fifth. All right, back in play. We've got Dustin Miller batting in a two-hole. Oh, trying to bunt. <laughs> Dustin Not bad. to show off his speed there. He drag bunt try to get something going here we need to get the lead off man on here no outs bottom of the fifth oh catcher still having to work he tried to throw that breaking ball there and he's just having a hard time locating that pitch Sean Larkin figured it out I couldn't figure out why my camera didn't fit the stands like it did last week I was in a different place and they're level the stands are level. There's another one outside, so it's going to be two and one now on Miller. I kept saying, what is wrong with me? I'm not that dumb. Well, maybe I am. Here's the next pitch. Good shot. Third base. He's going to boot it, and Miller is on first base. Good shot, though. He hit it right in the perfect spot. Got it out there and used the speed. Third baseman let it roll under his glove. JoJo got a hand on it, made a good throw across there, but they, Dustin was too fast for that. Miguel now batting for Mariana. Now he's, I imagine by now, he's gonna start mashing it because it took him a couple of bats to figure out when to swing, tell you the truth. About the last three games, he's been on fire. He's hitting, he's hit everything. The boy can throw. Man, he was going to be standing up anyway, Sean. He you got know. a great jump and really showed his speed off there. <laughs> he sure did. Even if he had not missed the ball catcher, he would have been standing on second. I think Andy had a hit and run on, and he threw a bad low pitch, and, and batters are taught to hit and run. If it's a low pitch in the dirt, don't swing at it. Let's take our chances. Is that the rule? Or? It's the general rule. Swing no matter what. <laughs> we'll be in a good good place to, to bunt right here. Down toward second. I think he's going to let him get a, a swat at it, though, as fast as he is on second. If he can get a base hit, he'll be standing up scoring. Uh, runner on second, nobody out. Left-handed hitter. He's he's thinking that he's going to try to bunt or try yeah. to pull something over on the right side to get that runner over, so he's going to want to try to throw him outside. Okay, here we go. Now, that was a good pitch as far as speed. It wasn't good on the money on, on the plate, but I think we made the pitcher mad here in the last two or three batters. He, He's certainly showing some body language that we hadn't seen out of him the last few innings. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, man, that was right down the middle. Yeah, he slowed up a little bit, took a little bit off, and... When you were pitching, uh, well, how fast could you throw one? I did never pitch, Royce. I couldn't bust a window pane. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's safe. But that was close then. That was close for that shortstop. I played second. That's all I could do to get the ball over to first. Well, now, I saw you pitch some. Don't start that about getting pitched. You pitched some. I threw. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference in throwing and pitching. Three. Count three and one now. Here it is on Miguel. Ooh, that was on the money now, Miguel. You know it was there. He's back to giving him that ball, about two balls on that side of the plate. He doesn't like to give him anything on the other side of the plate, but he likes giving him that away from arm side. It's 3-2 here. We need to... We need to get Dustin Miller over to third. No outs in three and two, Sean, so, yep. We don't need to out here, but move him over. Buddy swung again. Hey, that's okay.
Dryden, who's Dryden really up. been playing well lately. Looks like Coach Compton's going to the to the mound to discuss discuss what's going on. I don't know if they're going to make a pick pitching change here or not. They're talking about. I believe they'll leave him in there. He's not throwing that bad, Sean. We just dribble away. I mean, when you get those runs one at a time, we'll take them. But it wasn't like, you know, Cameron didn't knock one in and the other was a bad pitch on the catcher. Pitcher, catcher. Catcher missed it and scored standing up at home plate. So both coaches are deciding now what are we going to do here. I think Coach Shelton's laying out some strategy on how we can get that runner to third base. And still be, still be uh, worn out. out. I don't know how long they're gonna let them meet out there on the mound. They pretty much about to have dinner out there. <laughs> Usually the umpire, that's what he's doing, rushing him up a little, talking to the coach there. All right, boys, we need something here now. One out, one man on second. Laramie driving it back. Shortstop. He pulled it back, but it was still a strike. So let's see what we get out of this one. Not real sure if he was taken there all the way just to see what they were going to do defensively on a bunt. Yeah. And I didn't see a move anywhere, so I'm not, nope. not real sure that they were going to tip it off there. Back. Stay there. We're not going to fall for that. Well, <laughs> do you think he was ready for that? I, I don't know if we was ready, but Dustin Miller's 4.0 student. I, he's way too smart to fall for that. You reckon? <laughs> he's been around the baseball field long enough to know that. That was a good play. We'll explain it after this pitch. Uh-oh, standing up on third base. Nice job. He, nice read. Standing up. That's what we needed, runner on third with one out. That's what we needed there. Put the bat on the ball and we'll have a score. What happened? They faked the throw at second with Miller on second, and everybody ran like they'd missed it and had gone to center field. And He didn't even leave. Where'd that go? It's not hitting us, is it? Right over our head. Our pitcher stepped off and took it, took the ball and faked the second, second base and shortstop. Just dove across there like he made a bad throw, and everybody took off hollering. And Except Dustin, Miller. Dustin Miller didn't bite a lick. He's <laughs> probably seen that one before. I would imagine he was out there laughing at him <laughs> or Did diving it? out across there, making making himself look kind of funny out there. What you think? And then the next pitch, he's standing up on third. Yeah, just stole it. <laughs> stole it from the him. The catcher did bubble the ball a little bit, but I don't think it would have mattered. He had already had such a big jump on him. He didn't. He was three quarters away the down there whenever the catcher got the ball. He had a very good jump when he went to second. He had a equally as good jump. Well, that's the time to third. pull. That is the time to pull that because uh, Chipley was down because it didn't work. Another foul back over here. Vince Coleman, great base stealer from St. Louis, always said third base was easier to steal than second base. Why is that? I don't know why. I, he said you could get a better jump. You could read the pitcher better, get a better jump out there. It's a shorter throw. Now, what's the, uh, they need some more balls. Is Andy don't have any more? Oh, they got one. What are they fussing about? The coach from Chipley no, we was... Need a, we need a ball in the outfield right here. Well, almost. <laughs> he had to cut it, that one. He had got a nice at bat going. That's curved ball coming right at his face, and he wanted to bail out, but uh, just absolutely couldn't. Had to hang in there. He's, he's, he's fighting. Still. He's battling here. It's been a good at bat for him. Chip, the coach is still battling a little bit with the umpire. I wonder what the confusion is. I didn't quite figure it out. We've got a Chipley confused just a little bit right now. Hello, 
There you go. That was a great at bat. That was that a great was at bat. One. He he was 0-2, fought off a lot of pitches, fought off a good curveball in his face, and, and uh, came back with single left field to knock Miller in, and looks like that may be going to do it for Carson Whitson tonight. You think so? Is he bringing somebody else in? Yeah, he's bringing in the right fielder to pitch. I think. They're looking all at him. Well, why don't we take a break while that pitcher warms up? Go get us another jacket or a warm chocolate, <laughs> hot chocolate or something. We'll be right back. Back at Marion High School baseball field. Looks like they brought in number 15, Justin Chambers. Chased Karsten Whitson out after what, five and five and a third. He, uh, Royce, he had a super arm. He just had a really hard time locating. Yeah, I mean, he, the, the guy, Whit, Whit, is it Whitfield? Whit, Whitson. Whitson. Yeah, he throws as fast as anybody I've seen. It's not bad throwing on his warm-up time there when we went, we took a little break, but here it is. Zach Smith throwing down to second. He missed it. So we're on on second one. Laramie. Another hit and run. Zach swung through it. Laramie had the base stole. Catcher didn't make a very good throw down. But uh, Chambers throws. He actually throws it probably mid 80s something. But he's got a he's got a plus breaking ball. Locates it. I I like him pitching. <laughs> that one moved pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> Wasn't a strike, but he moved pretty. He's good. a good pitcher. Now he doesn't have yep. near about the arm as as Whitson does. But uh, he's he's quite an effective pitcher. He he'll get you out. One strike, one ball. Ooh, I thought that'd be a strike on Zach Smith. Two balls, one strike. Well, we're back in the position we want to be in. We've got a runner on second with one out. <clears throat> Pretty good hitter at the plate. He hits the ball hard. He can hit it out of here, too. Yep. He has a little bat movement, and I'm not sure about, right? But, you know, that little thing. Is that... What do you call that? Uh, he's he's kind of herky-jerky up there, but he gets that bat in the slot pretty good. He's just so strong. So yeah, he's strong. a good kid. He hits it on the barrel. It's going to really fly. Like that. Except it went. Scoring. Scoring. Nice job of base running there by Laramie Dryden. He never stopped at third ball got away from the first baseman and just didn't have arm enough from over there to make a play <laughs> here at home. Oh, Larry. He comes in there and he's the shortest guy we got. <laughs> Gets hidden amongst the big boys. He certainly got a heart bigger than anybody that's over there some, most of the time. All right, Mariana, if Mariana wins this game, that's another run, so it's four to nothing now. Top of the sixth. If we win this game, that's going to put us into the lead position for the district tournament we win this ball game we'll have the first seed so so we'll play automatically get a bye to the championship game Bonifay and Chipley will battle out for the other position in there one out woo that boat baby laid up there Troy wanted that one too because it curved in there but it got him on his hands foul ball that is three I think three or four straight first pitch hit and runs Andy's put on Man on first. On an error. Woo, that was the pitch he wanted last time. <laughs> that was a nice hanging breaking yes, ball sir. there. Troy just didn't want a breaking ball, 0-1. <laughs> he wants that fast ball and get it up in that wind. One out. Two strikes on Troy Clemens. Here he is. Woo! He wanted that one, too. That ball looked good up in his eyes. He just couldn't do anything with it up there. A little too high. Troy hits that ball about belt high as well as anybody, and he can really drive it in the alleys. Good gap power. Well, his first two pitches were high shown, and they came down with the curve like that one. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, All right, I think two it's looking outs good now. to him right there. 
and your favorite player right here. He's looking at his uh, wrist, but there's two outs and one on. I imagine they're going to let him hit away. Well, let's see if we go for five straight first pitch hit and runs. Nope. Got close, though. He's He's been throwing breaking balls after that first pitch strikes. So see if we can get a hanging breaking ball here. <laughs> That'd be all right with me. Let it lay up there just enough time for him to get that bat around right over the third baseman's head. Like that one. They're saying uh, your son interfered. Fell across the plate. Yeah. I don't know. Well, if he, he fell did. Across the plate because he took the pitch. He didn't swing at it. I think he wanted to swing, but it was too late. And uh, I can't argue much. I guess. Good call, I guess. All right. End of. I mean, the top of the six. Now coming up just shortly. Score now is 4-0 Mariano. We'll be right back for the starting of the top of the six. Here we are back at the top of the sixth inning at the Mariana Complex. Score now 4-0 Mariana over Chipley. So uh, Troy Clemens still throwing the ball for Mariana, and there's a car going berserk out in the parking lot. And I'm glad it's not mine. It sounds like mine, but it's not. I know it's not mine. It'll quit in about three minutes. Here so we, we go. Philip Brenninger up at the plate. Troy Clemens again throwing good. A little outside. I wish I had a piece of German chocolate cake right now, Sean. And a big glass of milk. <laughs> Next pitch. One and one little tip there by the batter back against the uh, screen. Uh, Andy spent all day working on the field today. I called the school over there where he worked and they said he had to take off and go get that field ready to play. When I called him about, I guess 1.30, 1, 1.30, he said, I'm not there yet, but it'll be all right by the time the game starts. It looks good. There's still a couple of damp spots, but it sure looks good. After all that water we got yesterday, with all this cool wind, it should dry things out. We had a lot of sun one on today. the batter. A lot of sun, a lot of wind. That's what it takes to dry them out. Top of the sixth. Here he comes again. Boom. And we did have some rain yesterday, by the way. <laughs> You're right. My brother up in South Alabama got 21 inches in two days. Wow. 21 inches in two days. So that's going to make it one and two, two strikes. He already had the two strikes on him and fouled that one away. Troy Clemens still hanging in there pretty. Don't look like he's lost anything. Trying to place that one, though. Try to throw that change up out there on the outer part of the plate. Just didn't catch enough of the plate to make him fish at it. All right, here we go. Low. Three and two now on number six for Chipley. Troy Clemens, number eight. Been going all the way. Here it is. That's it. I wonder who's going to call it. Yo, son. Left field, a right fielder. Uh oh, what happened? The wind got that son of a gun and took off. Laramie's smiling a little bit. Uh, it's a horrible mistake. That ball got up in the wind and well, kind of rode out there. We got right fielders customarily been playing left field and probably not used to it the way it come off that bat, but. Well, I mean, it looked like he was going to get under it easily, and all of a sudden that thing, thing took. I think it was a win. I don't. I, it had to be. Well, there's no doubt that win just took it and ran with it. 
your son thought he was going to catch it to start with, and it just kept drifting to right field, don't you think? All right, man on second, faking the bunt, sort of. One ball. Let's just see what we can do here. Well, Troy doesn't need to worry about that runner. Just I know just it. Just get these batters and get back in the groove again. I heard Andy holler at him a little bit, something like that. Just pitch his game. One and one, no outs. Top of the sixth. Mariana leading, two strikes. Mariana leading 4-0. Chipley got a man on second with a, I don't think you call that an error in right field, coach. Probably call it a hit. Probably should have been caught, but I think should have been, it but a hit. Boom, it took <laughs> off the wind, got it. It's got to be the wind because I'm holding on up here on the bleachers. One and two on the batter. Tip. Oh, he's fighting it off. Uh, they didn't like that two-strike call the umpire made. It was in, a little bit inside on him, but he's been giving both sides that pitch all night. Can't do a whole lot of arguing about it. Somebody giving Troy Clemens a encouragement. Here comes the pitch. Oops. He did not attempt to get out of the way. Well, I think he hit the bat. Hit the bat? I think it hit the end of the bat. He's not arguing with it either, you notice? No, nah, he looked back as soon as it <laughs> happened. He was he was doing some hoping. But yeah. The <laughs> Troy tried he's to sneak it in there on his hands and kind of ran back. That means bit. he's a good little old player, though, don't it? He's yeah. been playing before. <laughs> All right, Troy, burn your fastball in there. There it is. That's about the fourth foul now. Yeah, he's a good little scrappy player. How was it state tournament for girls softball college, community college down in Winter Haven or wherever we were? Our best little shortstop, she fouled off seven foul balls with two strikes on her, then got a base hit. So sometimes you just see it that way. That's right, like Laramie did last inning. Oh, that's right. You were talking about somebody. Yep. He helped us out on one there. Troy threw it high and outside. I thought he was going to try to come back on his hands. He threw it high and outside, and it looked too good. He had to, he had to fish at it. Is this Obert here, number three? Col Colby Obert, 10th grade infield. Yep. So we've got one out on Chipley, Mariana, playing defense, but Chipley's got one on second, score 4-0. Ball game could be a long way from over. Woo! What a change-up curve. And that's a strike. Now, that was the one to hit, Sean. Right. Couldn't get back in position. He was waiting on that fast, <laughs> fast ball, ball and jumped out there, and then that ball wasn't there when he was ready to swing, and he just couldn't get himself back in position then. With one out and one strike, see what happens. He's throwing that curve almost every pitch, now, ain't he? Well, he threw a changeup first pitch and came back with a curveball. What's the difference in a changeup and a curve? Changeup, you just throw it slower. Changeup, just real straight, uh, like a fastball, just takes about 10 mile an hour off of You're it. You're going to get it by him quick enough when he realizes it's uh oh, it's slow, it's done too late, but not fast enough for him to get around on it early. Well, you throw that change up, you, you grip it a little bit differently, and you take a lot off of it, and right before it gets to the plate, it kind of drops out. Well, now, Troy is throwing a heck of a ball game, Sean. He's got a two-hitter going, doesn't he? Is it three or two? Looks two like two, two hitter. on the scoreboard. He's, he's been throwing it well. Like I said, he's been, he's been filling it up all night. <laughs> Foul ball. Luckily, it's not coming toward us for a change. Jaron went over there. He can't give up on it the way that wind's blowing that thing. I was going to say. It's liable to blow it back onto the field That's from right. way over there. 
normally you wouldn't even fool with that ball. So we got one ball, two strikes. Let's see what we get here. Here it is. Uh-oh. A little pop-up to left field. Got him on his hands. Mr. Miller. Got out there in short left field over by the line. And Dustin Miller ran it down. Two outs. Two outs here in the top of the six. We're four outs away from winning the ball game. But trust me, when you play Chifley, you never know. I mean, an error and a couple of hits in this ball game could be tied up and easily. That's right. This two-hole hitter, he pulled it in left field a while ago for a base hit. We, we need to get him out here before Whitson, three-hole hitter, gets back up. Yep. Troy just, he's throwing well tonight. I mean, you know, yeah. the last time when you and I were working a game, uh, he only lasted, what, three innings, two and a half or three? Well, Even though we won, we scored a lot of runs during that time period, but then he was struggling to throw it across the plate. And then Jaron came in, and he was terrible. Dustin, your son, came in, and he couldn't throw a strike. One of them days, all of them were struggling. We had a rough day. But oh, that's right. It's Troy, been Troy four or five it. days since we played. Troy's throwing it well. He's... Of course, this is against Chipley too. Now this isn't. This That's isn't right. This is a regular, regular ball game. This yes. is, this this is, is not South Chipley. Walden. Yeah, we need to get this guy out. It's, it's a different ball game with two runners on with Whitson up with the wind blowing out than You're it is right. with him leading off with four run lead. That's it. No, nope, he tipped it. It's a, it's a different ball game. Troy Clemens doing a good job tonight. Two strikes and two outs. Two strikes and two outs. Here it is. Uh-oh. He's out. And that's it. That was a big pitch. He threw a change up, <laughs> got him out front, and he popped it up to center field. That was that was huge. That was huge for Marianne instead of having two people on with Whitson up. Yes. It's a... Uh, we got out of it, and, and uh, now he can lead it off next inning with nobody on it. Makes everybody feel better. <laughs> Bottom of the six now for Mariana was a score four zero. They did get one one guy on, so we got three outs away from winning it, but we're gonna get a bat one time for then. So we'll be right back with the bottom of the sixth inning. All right, here we are now, the bottom of the sixth. Jaron Bannerman at bat. They still got the same pitcher in. They brought in a while ago. Here's the first pitch. High outside, so I don't know. We got an inning and a half. Mariana leading 4-0. And it's so cold up here <laughs> in the skybox. <laughs> Sean Lockett, Royce Reagan, here's the next pitch. Jaron swinging for the fence, swinging up instead of the level there, Sean. Uh, <laughs> Sean. We're certainly in the skybox out here on top, top row of bleachers with about a 30-mile-an-hour wind blowing down our back. Little pep coming from the uh, dugout over there. Coach Compton's meeting with his catcher over there. I don't know what. Uh, what do you have to do with that? Is he? Well, he's 0-2 on him. I think he's just wanting to want to talk to him about how he wants to pitch him 0-2. But uh, you know the way Troy's throwing, I feel real good with a four-run lead. But it sure wouldn't it wouldn't hurt my feelings if we messed around and scored about three or four more right here. What's the umpire telling him now? If you want to go on the field, fine, but don't don't mess with a catcher. I don't have a clue what that's about. I don't know either. They're probably friends, so it don't matter anyway. Like I said, I know they want a good, clear understanding on how they're going to throw an 0-2. Well, the scoreboard was wrong again, so it wasn't 0-2. <laughs> they're killing Troy's us. throwing a two-hitter, doing real well. Speaking to Andy Andreessen here. Almost got him on his shoulder. He's been pitching extremely well. That's the best I've seen him all year. Oh, man, everybody's playing well. With two and two with no outs, here we are in the bottom of the sixth. We got Chipley confused last inning, and they made some mistakes and tried to trick us a couple times, and we didn't fall for it. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
He knew that was over, didn't he? Yeah, breaking ball had him fooled completely. All right, here comes Cameron, who knocked in a run the last time up. Cameron walked and got hit, and then he hit a shot to left field. What a curve. <laughs> that boy can throw a curve. He's got a nasty curveball. It wouldn't surprise me if, if we get them in the championship game that we see we see him again for sure. That's the only problem with those nasty curves. If it ain't on the money there it gets up against the wall, ain't it? Well, he's got such a big breaker that uh you just about have to let that ball be coming at your hip and sit on it and hit it because anything that's coming down the middle is going to just break too far outside. Cameron Oliver again count now one and one or is it two balls in one strike? One and one? Two one. Two and one like I said. We, we've been going by the scoreboard a lot. <laughs> Sometimes it's not always right. Yeah, he's only got one ball on him. Oh, there's another ball and he's walking to first. Uh-oh, I guess it was really three balls on him. Here we go, Cameron Oliver again. Low. Cameron walked twice against Bozeman or Mosley. I forgot one or the other. Sometimes too good at eye hurts you. You need to put the bat on the ball. We'll take a bunch of walks, Royce. We'll ah, take, yeah, hear y'all say that. But we'll take those base runners all night. Cameron's not the quickest runner we got, though. Well, we've got pinch runners Seven over fish. there in this, in this inning. they got to put him in at catcher, though. <laughs> Three and two. Hello, he's not going to watch it. I don't know who this kid is running these foul balls down, but I know our team appreciates it. <laughs> it's that kid with a lot of hair that you looked like when you were in the sixth grade. Three and two again on Cameron, one out. Hello, it's in there. Oh, Lord. Get on first, Cameron. <laughs> My God, Cameron. <laughs> he hit the right. <laughs> Almost <laughs> got thrown out at first. <laughs> he hit it too hard. Boy. I know it. That's right. He should have dribbled it in there. He hit it too hard. We'll take the hit, but was he loafing or was that as fast as he could run? I don't think he was loafing. I don't think he was either. Colby Johnson up now, and the coaches are going to talk a little bit about what to do here. I think they're going to end up putting somebody else in there to run for him. I think so, too. I hope they're not going to bring uh, Troy out. No. Well, that's what I'm talking about. He got three up and three down with about four pitches uh, the inning before that. Yeah, they're going to put a pinch runner. That means Cameron's got to come out of the game, right? Yeah, but they can reinsert him. Oh, they can? They can reinsert in high school. You can reinsert one time. Well, Cameron's the leading hitter tonight. Two hits. I guess ain't nobody else got two hits, have they? Except for Troy. <laughs> and the Andres over here correcting me, son. I don't know why he thinks Troy doing so good. <laughs> I know he's got a double. I have a feeling because he feeds him a lot. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Did he score both both times? I tried to tell Sean that, but he said it was <laughs> I think the viewers Dustin I think Miller. the viewers know better. <laughs> oh God. Hey, oh, I meant to say, let them fight over it. All right, that's two outs. Sure has. I just don't think we've seen good enough pitching all year long. Yeah, fast. Catcher throws it out in center field, and Clayt gets the third. He's saying, Coach, if Cameron had been in here, he might have got the second by now. I'm just kidding. He had to. He had hit call. run on with two outs, and almost, yeah. almost hit Dustin in the shoulder. Yep. And uh, chose not to swing at it, which was a good choice. Catcher let it get away from him. I give you both of my. I haven't dumped the other one yet. 
if you'll harass me till we uh, Mr. Andrus and I'll give you copies of this. All right, this is the best game I think Troy Clemens. We've been been talking about it. This is the best game he's thrown. He's thrown fewer pitches, under control, got curve, got a change up, fastball. Uh oh. Three balls on Dustin Miller now. I guess he'll be taking three straight pitches. Who's falling at bat from him? Is Adam Miguel. Ah, Adam Miguel, our three hole hitter. All right. Okay. Oh, he's. Oh, boy, he's getting ready on the first pitch, Sean. I'm sorry. Chuck, first pitch. He's going to second. Get ready. Yeah, he's, uh, he's squeezing him now, and I think Coach Compton's getting a little perturbed about that. <laughs> nope, I don't think so. Yeah. He was trying hard a while ago to hit one uh, to the opposite field. Two outs, two men on, one on first and third. Score 4-0 Mariana over Chipley. And the umpire didn't call a balk there because <laughs> I don't uh, know the rule for a balk. They tried to do that third to first move, which never works, but somebody ends up getting caught on it. Well, there, that's a pure, pretty pitch. I kind of figured this will be the pitcher that pitches against us if Chipley beats Bonifay if we win this ball game in the district tournament. Yes, That's it did. It. Got by. Uh huh. And Laramie's been swinging the ball well. Adam did a good job. He laid in that, laid in that curveball again and fed inside to him, and he just rolled right over it and got it. it well, you said right he liked to pull it, uh, Sean, down to third base. I mean, first base line. He did pull it that time. Yeah. He, we're going to score another one here. He dropped the ball. How can he be anything but safe? I'm not sure. I, you know, it looked like he tagged him on the hand as his hand was coming in there to tag the plate, and he tr he dropped the ball. That was uh, that was nice. We need that one. We score this other one right yes, here. Yes, sir. That gives us a six-run lead now. We don't need the ten-run rule. All we need is to get <laughs> get them three up, three down, and go to the house. That's exactly right. We're gonna score another run. Now. Two outs. Laramie will get him. A, he's going to go right over the uh, pitcher's head and score. Uh, Three change-ups in a row here. I have two. Oops. Wish you'd have gotten that and down. One ball, two strikes. Clemens, the top of the seventh. He needs three up and three down. Let's go to the house and win this one. Here it is. Woo, good curb, just blowing in the dirt. So two strikes, two balls. Oh, he's just staying away from the middle of the plate, trying to get him to fish at something. Yep. He'll throw his 2-2, try to throw his best pitch right here. Can't remember what he got him out on last time. I know he, I know he got him out one time on a high fastball. Yep. You're right, he threw that change of curve again. The old dead fish, they call it. Well, I hope he's not tired, though. I hope he's not. Are they calling the pitches from the from the dugout? They are. They, uh, Andy calls most every pitch. Yep. Here we go. Ooh. I wish that had been a little higher so he could have sit him down. Yeah, he was all over that fastball. I, I think he was ready for that one there. I don't know. Here it is. That's yes, it. it. Just what you called, Sean. Make him go for it. 
I know that's discouraging for a kid, though. I mean, you know, even though I want to beat Chip, you hate to see a kid get sucked in. Uh, he's, All right. he's such a good competitor, but boy, how good a game has Troy thrown tonight. Man. Wow. A lot of first pitch strikes, throwing it inside part of the plate, outside part of the plate, throwing three pitches for strikes. He has been absolutely phenomenal tonight. There it is. Uh-oh. Safe. That was a slow dribbler, but we could have still got him. Need a double play now in the ball game. Yeah, that was a, that was a, a reach out roll over dribble it to no man's <laughs> land and we were we were playing back and really wasn't expecting that double play I, I imagine i think that's what they were saying when they were huddling up saying let's just go and get a two out right here one out top of the seventh mariana two outs away from winning Troy Clemens still throwing well. Nothing wrong with that pitch. Problem was the guy just missed it when he was hitting it in and dribbled to third base and he got on. Here we go. It'd be all right, I mean, if he just hit it to the second baseman straight at him, let him throw it short and throw it first and go on. Here we go. We'll take we'll take a double play right now to end it. You're right. That would be a good lift. That'd be a pretty way to end it, for sure. Of course, as well as Troy's been throwing, I'll take two strikeouts right here. You can you can head this way. It's uh, last inning, one out. Hello, hello. Yeah, come on. Okay. All right. Oh, Royce, they got the ball. That wind started blowing about 50, and he hit it up, and it that ball hit about a foot from going out in the right center gap. That's about as far as I, I you know can it. hit a ball in the right center gap. Well, I was talking to my wife and telling her to go get me begin to go because this is one out, but we're going to have a little huddle up on the mound. I told you the ball game really wasn't over, but it's still 6-0. Chipley's got somebody on third with one out, so we really need to. Oh, they are going to take Troy out. I'm not sure I would have that either. What do you think? Well, he he, uh, he tried to give him a chance to get on through it, and he, he is getting a little tired. And well, I probably had the had the guy out on the rollover, and he just hit it where we would have easily been two Bannerman. outs. And, and, uh, it looks like uh, Alex Begale yeah. going in there. Not Bannerman. Bannerman's 20 right behind him. After Troy throwing a good game, they're putting him out in the outfield. 